Hi guys and ghouls, it's Mackenzie. If you're feeling a little bit of deja vu right now, me too. I just finished filming my BoxyCharm unboxing video like 10, 15 minutes ago and then this showed up at my door. So I figured while I'm, you know, already looking tired and exhausted and filming today, why not just sit down and unbag this too? So I'm pretty sure the BoxyCharm one is going up first, so... You're gonna see me looking like a naked mole rat twice in probably a week. I am sorry. But this is my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of January. I know that mostly everything in here is skincare because I know that what I picked this month was almost completely skincare. I've been on a big skincare kick mostly because I am pretty much just totally back at home now because um, where I am in California, we are currently, I'm in the Bay, Bay Area region, we are currently shut down in definitely. Like we don't even have a date for like things reopening. The place where I was potentially working at is not reopening anytime soon. It could be months. So, you know, I, I haven't really been doing a whole bunch of makeup lately other than eye makeup. I've mostly just been doing eye makeup lately because when I'm wearing the mask, anytime I go out, all anyone sees is my eyes and maybe my brows, which are chaos now, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll get through this together, you guys. I know everyone else is having like a really, really hard time and here I am unbagging a bag of makeup on my channel, but this is like my sanity at this point. I'm really not purchasing makeup right now at all or skincare. Pretty much one of the only things that I purchased like in January was my subscriptions. I'm actually thinking of taking a break from Ipsy Plus for a few months just for financial reasons. It is only $25 a month, but in this, with everything going on in the world right now, I can use every $25 that I have, but we will see. We will see what happens. We're going to see. I might, I might still be unbagging this next month. We're just, we're seeing what happens. I'm in a good, safe space. I am stable. I'm okay. I'm not going to lose my home like so many other people are facing right now. So this is like, this is like a luxury to me to be able to sit here on a camera and unbag a ton of makeup. And it's, I'm trying to film more. You guys have seen I've been uploading more. I'm sorry for this giant intro, but I have been uploading more. And I do feel like slightly guilty sometimes because like here I am talking about makeup when so many bad things are happening in the world. But I've learned that like for my mental health and the sanity of just like everyone in general, I gotta keep doing the things that make me happy. And what makes me happy is playing with makeup and sitting on camera and talking about makeup and unbagging things. So we're going to keep doing it to the best of my ability, but we're probably going to be seeing a lot more videos on my channel talking about my collection, what I own, old items, maybe doing some looks using like things that used to be favorites a few years ago. But let's just get into this because it's been, I think, like two minutes, three minutes, and nobody wants to hear me talk. This is what the bag looks like for the month of January. With Glam Bag Plus, you do get to choose how many items, right? Three, I think. You get to choose three of your five items. They are full-sized. And this month, they chose a bunch of skincare because I can. So our theme for the month is Dream It, and that is what the bag says. I think it's kind of cute. It gives me like, I don't know, like retro early 2000s digital vibes. And okay, this just says stuff about beauty resolutions for your sign. What's mine? I'm a Leo. So it says, nothing will dull your shine. Consider highlighter your holy grail. Not really. I, I haven't been wearing highlighter that much lately, but apparently my, my holy grail is highlighter. And we also have a coupon, or not even a coupon, just a, a flyer for the Glam Bag X, which is you get eight full-size products. You choose three. And I think the Glam Bag X is like four times a year or something. I don't know. It's like $50. So I'm not going to be purchasing it. But apparently Patrick Ta is going to be coming in next month's bag. So if you're or box or whatever. So if you're interested in Patrick Ta, maybe check that out. But let's get into my bag. And let me grab first, I think these are the items that yes, Ipsy chose for me again. I don't really remember what I picked or what Ipsy picked because December was a chaos month. And I vaguely have recollection of picking items for my boxy charm and this bag. So these, I believe, are not the things I picked. So the first thing we have here is, I forget what this is, but it's in bubble wrap that doesn't want to open. So that's cool. Please, please open. I just, okay, we'll be back. 
So what I have here is it looks like two nail polishes. This is from Belle en Argent. Uh, Belle en Argent. I mean, these are eight free nail polishes and it says that they are cruelty free. It says, yeah, eight free, vegan and cruelty free. So it doesn't say the colors on the box. I mean, it says the names, but I don't see the shades. So we're just gonna pop on in here and see what colors Ipsy thinks I like. I mean, right now I've got like three nail polishes on right now, but yeah, I like really pretty sparkly, like fun nail polishes or black. So let's see what Ipsy picked. Oh, I can get behind this one for sure. This is called Bore Someone Else. Okay, I kind of love that. And this is a super deep vampy red. I'm, mm, I'm actually, this is really pretty. I love a deep vampy red with like a green glitter or a different like glitter topper on it. So that could be exciting. And this one is called Harmless Tricks, it says on the box. I do like the names of these. And this is what Harmless Tricks looks like. Mm, not as like my taste. I mean, it's actually kind of similar to what I have on my nails right now, but super mauve. But this is like a, let me just hold it because I've got like, I'm filming in natural light. So if I put it in the sun, I can see more of the sparkles. This is like a metallic like mauve with like a little bit of a rose gold shift to it. That one's a little more neutral, but actually these are pretty. I will definitely give these a shot. They're not like super nude, which isn't really my jam, but those are super cute. Um, obviously because you pick so many items, I can't tell you the prices, but I will put prices as always for these items next to me. And at the end of the video, I will tally it up and tell you guys how much my bag was worth. So first we have two nail polishes, which I think is cool because instead of just giving one nail polish, they did give a full size duo and I can get behind that. Then we have something by Florence by Mills. I believe this is Millie Bobby Brown's brand. If you, yes, right? The girl from Stranger Things sent help because I'm going to admit it. I've never seen an episode of Stranger Things. I know I need to watch Stranger Things. I need to watch a lot of shows now that I'm stuck home all the time. But this is a mind glowing peel off mask. Okay, this is cruelty free and vegan for all skin types. And um, eh, I'm at the point where like, when I was a teenager, like, you know, like 16, 17, I thought peel off masks were super cool. I'm now 23 and my skin is pretty good. I mean, it's not happy with me right now, but I don't really like peel off masks anymore, especially like, I think this one's glittery. We're gonna see. Yeah, so if you can tell, it's like a glittery iridescent. Oh, it smells really good though. It's like an iridescent peel off mask. I'm also surprised that there isn't like a seal or something on here. It's a little, it's a little frightening, but um, peel off masks just don't do much for my skin. I mean, I will obviously try this. I just, I really like a cream mask or a sheet mask. Like I like a mask that I leave on for like 15, 20 minutes and I rinse off and that's where I feel like I get the best benefits from skincare like if it's got hyaluronic acids and stuff I need hydration or maybe my skin's freaking out and I need you know something that's going to um what's the word I'm looking for that's going to help clear my skin or my pores and stuff and I just I just don't love peel off masks for that I used to also back in the day love like pore strips and stuff but it is so like damaging to your skin to be like ripping things out of it legitimately but I am going to try this. I, I just, this whole brand also is basically geared for a younger audience. Millie Bobby Brown is younger. I cannot remember her exact age right now, but she is like a younger demographic. So she's probably going more towards, you know, like this, the 17, 18, 19 year olds with her brand and like the aesthetics of her brand. I am not 17, 18, 19 anymore, but I'm, I'm interested to try this. I have been interested to try her brand. It just hasn't really appealed to me similar to like Kylie skin where I feel like it's geared for a younger demographic because I like certain acids I like specific ingredients for my skin but this is like a whole just like ramble just about this but I am excited it says that it has witch hazel and lavender oil which lavender oil isn't always great for your skin I like essential oils and skincare are not always the best so Definitely for a younger demographic, but I do like witch hazel. I love me some witch hazel. So let's get into what I picked. I think, 
I didn't even realize. I picked two items from Pure Lease this month. I'm just, I've been on a Pure Lease kick. Their Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm is one of my absolute favorite day-to-day -day moisturizers. And I've just, 2020 was the year where I got a lot of Pure Lease and like subscription boxes and fell in love with it. But let's go with the one item I picked that is not from Pure Lease. And this is from IGK. This is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. And I am actually really excited about this. So this is obviously it's vegan and uh, cruelty free and gluten free. Also, if you guys are new here, I am cruelty free. Everything I get in everything I get in subscription boxes that isn't cruelty free, I either donate or give to friends and family. But this has coconut oil and this is a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh hair down. And I love this. I tried a sample of this back in the day and I just never purchased a full size because this is on the more expensive side and. I just felt that I had other leave-in conditioners I could use, but I really like this. I don't use this near the roots because it is very, like, it's almost a balm and it's very hydrating. So I basically use it from, like, here down. I mean, I have, I have a lot of hair and I have very fine hair that gets weighed down very, very easily. But I thought that this one, from what I remember, because it's been a couple years since I tried it, really, really helped because I would apply this in my hair when it was damp from like here down, brush it out, and then everything would just look really shiny and smooth. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to try this again. It is kind of expensive. So I'm really, I don't know, I'm excited to give it like a full go now that I have like a full size because I just had a small sample last time and like actually try this for a couple months because I've heard pretty good things about IGK. Um, I haven't tried a bunch of their hair care, but what I have tried, I've, en I've enjoyed. So I'm excited. And let's get into, we've got two items here from Pure Lease. Like I just said, we have the Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. This hydrates and balances, prevents fine lines, and preps skin for makeup. So this is, it has white tea and vitamin E and French marine plants, which sounds so, so fancy. Um, yeah, non-greasy, fast absorbing formula, relieves dryness and helps prevent fine lines and wrinkles for a healthy dewy finish. I don't know which one I want to use first because some of it's still sitting next to me. In my BoxyCharm, I just got the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Gel Free, Oil Gel Free, <laughs> Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. And now I got this because I totally forgot that I picked this. And both of these are ones I actually have wanted to try as like a daytime moisturizer. And now I have two of the moisturizers I've actually been interested in outside of like subscription boxes and I don't know which one I want to use first but this one seems like it would be a really good daytime moisturizer for me since I have oily 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 oh my gosh I can't today I'm just having a wreck today I haven't been able to talk like at all I have a combo skin that's kind of sensitive and this says it's good for oily to combination skin and normal to even sensitive skin so Let's just see what the tube looks like, because I believe this one's pretty expensive. Pure Lease tends to be a little, a little pricey, but everything I've tried from them is worth that price point. So this is what it looks like. We just got a tube moisturizer. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. And yeah, we're gonna see which one I try first, but I'm sure you guys will be hearing about this in the future and the pharmacy moisturizer, because I'm very excited about both of them. And then we have something, did I need this? No, did I get this anyway? Yes. This is the Candy Johnson and Pure Lace Butter Me Orange Creamsicle Body Butter. So this, it smooths, hydrates, nourishes, and deeply moisturizes. I want to smell this. I want to smell this so bad. If this smells like creamsicles, like legitimately, I'm going to die. Pure Lace makes, let's just put some on my hands because I don't think I have anything to swatch. Pure Lace makes unbelievable, I mean, body products too. I've had some of their... Oh, it smells like straight up creamsicles. Oh my goodness. It smells like my childhood. They make some insanely good body products as well. Their lotions are just, I've always enjoyed them. I've tried a few in the past because all of the ones I've tried have been super non-greasy, hydrating, and just sunk into the skin really fast and just been, like they smell really nice too. So like they said, this is a collab with Candy Johnson. They collabed years ago though. So I'm surprised this still has Candy Johnson's name on it because this came out a while ago. Like I remember when this came out and I almost got it and didn't. This has coconut oil, orange and vanilla and a bunch of other things in it. It's a body butter. Like it's not revolutionary, but it does smell, it does smell exactly like a creamsicle and I'm very excited for that. I don't really remember what my other choices were for this month, but I remember them being pretty disappointing. Like some of the cover effects, liquid eyeshadows, I've already gotten those in previous boxes. 
some stuff wasn't cruelty free. I don't know. It's just kind of hard with choice, especially because I am cruelty free. So it's like not Ipsy or BoxyCharm's fault that they offer products that aren't cruelty free. But yeah, I guess I was just really on a skincare kick this month because nothing in this box this month that I chose or they chose for me is makeup. I think that's maybe like a first for me where if I have a whole like subscription that isn't makeup and I'm still excited for it. But here is how much my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus was worth this month overall. I think it was pretty good value and I'm excited for everything um, except for really the peel off mask but we have the items I chose. We have we have a hair care product that's pretty fancy. We have two pure release items. We got a moisturizer and a body butter. We got two nail polishes which I definitely appreciate getting two instead of just one. I am really excited for this dark red and I will probably this one I can definitely make work for my taste. I think it would be cool with like a green iridescent topper. I have a bunch of iridescent like topper shades because I love, I like duochromes. I like shifty things. I like multi-chromes. I like them on my eyes. I like them in polish. It's just how it is. And then we do have like our Florence by Mills peel off mask, which I will try this. I'm just like, I just don't think this is like geared towards me. Like I am not the target audience for this. And that is, that is fine. I also did purchase, I forgot two add-ons this month. Um, I thought this was going to be bigger, but I got this SL Miss Glam brush. It's supposed to be a blush brush, but it is very, it's very teeny tiny. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to work for me. My tastes with blush, I like very diffused draped blush. And I also got this because I think it was like $12. This is a full size of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I was really excited to see this because I've been interested in this mascara. I'm not going to open it right now because I just opened a new mascara, but I've been wanting to try this for a while. When I saw that this was basically like half off and it would just ship with my glam bag, I said sure and I went for it and I'm very excited to try this. It is very pretty packaging and I've heard decent reviews on this guy. So yeah, that is everything in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of January. I'm I'm happy with it and I'm, I don't know. We'll see if I keep them bagging this consistently throughout the year. BoxyCharm, I am sure we'll, I will keep consistently unboxing because BoxyCharm is my favorite and I've been getting it for years and I'm still just kind of testing the waters with the Glam Bag Plus. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I post videos whenever I can. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all very, very soon. Stay spooky. Mwah.